Okay. Welcome to part two of how to make an ITG era. So, I started on mine already because this is the biggest pain in the ass. Cut out the pieces just by freehand. There's no guide that I use. Um, this is what it looks like so far. Now I have to do the top piece, which is the biggest pain in the butt. My arrow is still sitting on the KY jelly. So, that's there. What you need is a ball of whatever color you're doing. Obviously, mine's red. Um, and what I use is this lovely pasta roller. Let's see? It's annoying because the handle goes down and falls off. Like that. Anyway. Let me grab some. So, with that said, put your piece of Sculpey in the pasta roller. Squish it down a little bit and roll it. And mine is set on four. And I get nice and thin like this. See? And then I lay it down, put this away. Okay. How I measure this out is I take my guide. And I lay this out, take my guide, lay it on the red, like that, and I cut out just the top part of the arrow into a big triangle, basically. Okay, like that, see? Get it rid of the excess. Like that. Then I remove the top part. See? And then I basically just guess. This is going to be hard to film by myself. Let's see. All right. I just take a little bit off the ends. Sometimes I don't always get it right. Like I might have just cut off too much there. And then I guess the width that I need. Oh my God, how am I gonna do this? Like this. Remove this piece. And that's the top of my arrow right there. So. And then what I do is I put my sculpey knife underneath of it. Peel it up very gently. Oh god. I'm really bad at filming by myself. Okay. Then I lay it over my ITG arrow, like so. See if it measures up how I want it to. The side's a little long, so I'm gonna cut that side off a little bit. Again, just guesstimating, because we're not perfect here. Line it up over the top. Press it down when you like it. Like this. And that's how it should look. Now, before you bake it, obviously you're gonna wanna put some hardware in it. So, you need two pairs of pliers, and you need one of these. Doesn't matter if it has a loop on the end or if it's just a pin, doesn't matter. These pliers have cutters in them, so just take a straight pin, cut off the top, and then you'll have 
a blunt <gasps> tip. <gasps> yeah, baby's crying. Put it in like so. See it? Bend it down. Just makes a little wire loop. Okay. Try to get it as straight as you can. Then I take my liquid sculpey, which turns into hard clay once it's baked. And you squeeze some onto the the metal because I've had problems with them falling out of my arrows. So take this and your arrow and then my phone rings. Stick it in the tip like this. You have to do it very carefully or else your arrow will deform. Fix it if you need to. And there you go. See? Let's see if I can focus. Yes. That's what it should look like on the top. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's as close as you can get by freehand. Then you put it in the oven for at 275 degrees for, I put it in for 16 or 17 minutes just to be safe. And that is part two. Part three, I'll show you how to make it into a keychain or a necklace. Bye.